full-size man's head so I can't put my ears inside my hat, but you get the idea. Hell yeah, brother. Riding through this world. Hey, good morning, folks. It's uh, it's Monday. It's October 31st. It's Halloween. It's Halloween today. And on that note, I'm Ryan Cruzy. This is a stealth cup of coffee. And sitting beside me is a 2002 Harley Davidson Dyna FXDX, the greatest Harley Davidson ever made. Today, we're going to start a new project. One I'm kind of excited about. We just bought this bike. Yes, this is our bike. We're going to use this bike to do install videos with every one of our parts that we offer for the dynas we're going to do handlebars crash bars shock sliders license plate brackets subframe a bunch of shit in there that i'll show you every single bit of it but we're going to turn this thing into a budget stunt bike i would say a beautiful budget stunt bike covered in cruisy originals parts it's going to be a one video per part kind of thing as we go along and then once this bike is all done it will be for sale. It'll be for sale for whoever comes with the most money. But anyway, she runs pretty good. It's got a 42 mil Makuni on it right now. I would say it's probably got some sort of cam in it. It's way too torquey for a 88 inch. I don't think it's a big bore kit or anything like that. It has 30,000 original miles on it and a whole bunch of super whack shit all over it. So today we're gonna take her for a little test ride, see how she runs, around a little bit, and then we're gonna start tearing it down and we're gonna do a Cruzy Originals ATV handlebar install and we're gonna swap the trees out for a set of black powder coated trees that we already have. I'll be going all over that, so. <sighs> like, subscribe, ring that bell, tell a friend. Cruise the Originals, here we go. Yeah, so that's it. We took it for a ride. It's pretty nice. It actually runs really, really well. Feels pretty strong and torquey. Uh, the suspension for being slammed feels pretty good. Uh, it's coming off though. All that shit's gonna be gone. We're gonna rebuild the front end. We're gonna put some real DX shocks on the back of it. Uh, we got a seat coming from Saddleman as well. They're already making it. It's gonna be a Cruzy Originals tuck and roll all the way tri-gripper with the logo in dark green on the back to match the dark green up in this biatch. Quite honestly, it's really comfortable to ride. <laughs> this shit is like, luxury the seat sucks if it had like a nice high back seat on it it'd be really nice but if you're like really fucking riding and ripping up like a corner or any kind of shredding at all it, that that setup sucks you can tell me whatever jive you want to but forward controls and ape hangers are not it for shredding but for comfort and just riding that shit it's pretty nice i, I will say that is comfortable in a straight line walk this way i'm going to show you a bunch of things we're going to put on here subframe solar what yeah I need one. Um, it's old. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Well, we just sold out a subframe, so I'm not putting one of those on the bike. <laughs> Motherfucker. Well, here we are. Today, we're going to put in these black 39 millimeter triple trees. These are just factory trees that we already have powder coated on the shelf, so we're going to swap them out, and then we'll get the ones that are on the bike re-powder coated and put them back on our shelf. We're going to put new neck bearings on it, all that shit, get it set up. 
This is a set of Cruzy Originals ATV style handlebars. They are machined from one solid piece of chrome Molly, so all of the channeling is nice and smooth. There's caps that go in here. We're going to install those today. We've got some mid controls that are already powder coated. We're going to get that shit not done today, but that's going to be happening on the bike as well. We've got a saddleman seat thing. We've got an Elite Moto brake lever that's red. I don't fing care that it's red. It doesn't match at all, but I got it, so we're going to put it on there if it actually works. I think this might be for a sportster. So we might not be putting it on at all, but if we can, we're going to. We have Cruzy Originals top shock mount sliders. Cruzy Originals bottom shock mount sliders. We will be installing these when we do the rear shocks. We have a Cruzy Originals K-Bar engine guard. We will also be installing this in a video of its own. We will be doing a Cruzy Originals air cleaner cover, points cover. This is our slider derby cover with Delrin slider to save your primary. We're going to be doing all this in its own video. We've got a Cruzy Originals lay down license plate bracket kit right here. We're going to be doing this in its own video as well. This is going to be a fun little series that we're going to do a bunch of rad shit to this bike. Simply, I'm going to keep this as simple and as hopefully you can do all this shit yourself in your garage for the most part with basic tools and a brain. So that being said, all these parts for sale on cruisyoriginals.com. If they're not on there at the time, call the shop. We'll get you dialed in, whatever it takes. And uh, I guess we're going to start hustling. I need a jack, Matt. Yo, so we're kind of got the first steps going on already. We pulled the seat off. We've got the tank lifted because we got to pull all the wiring out of the handlebars, which goes back through the frame and the plugs are about this far back in the frame and it wraps up underneath the seat. So this being as low as it is, this is gonna be a real bitch to get our hands in there and push the wiring back up and pull these plugs out. Cause we're gonna disconnect and basically remove everything on these handlebars to just make this easy for us. Get me something to cover this with. Oh yes, and it's covered in electrical tape too. So that's always a good sign. I'm gonna Matt do most of the work so we can learn. I'm gonna do most of the talking because I already know everything. You know what you have in common with, once you buy a Dyna, you know what you have in common with Dope Fiend? You've both worked on that Dyna. Hopefully they didn't do this right and all the shit's jammed right here and I can just pull it out on my own. Sure did. So normally, I pull this shit all the way through the backbone and all this extra shoves up underneath the seat. But somebody literally battled this thing back into the neck without doing that which is man that's a huge pain in the ass cut the blinkers off because you don't want to run blinkers that's custom shit but you could just unplug the blinkers god electrical tape man i love the electrical tape so we're gonna pop the pins you should draw a wiring diagram you know draw a picture of this draw your colors out i've been doing this a long time so i know where they go i just plug them back in and throw it back together but or take a picture with your cell phone or take a video do some fancy young kid shit like that but don't just pull this apart and go oh shit i don't know where the wiring goes Quick tip, these races gotta be beat into something. They're press fit, so I'm gonna freeze them a little bit. When you make steel cold, steel shrinks. If you make it smaller, fits in easier. Then it'll warm up and expand where it needs to be. I bet you wish you would have watched me pack those bearings last week, huh? I did watch you. You didn't watch me watch you? I'm pretty sure you said, hey, man, watch this, and I watched it. Did. did you pay attention, though? We'll see. Yeah, yeah I always pay attention. Like we'll find out. There's no way he knows how to do it. It's called comprehending <laughs> is what the problem is, you know? I definitely had to go take tests all different <laughs> places and shit. <laughs> they made me take a test in a different room, but you know, I, I, was, I was normal. I had a test in a different room, time and a half on test. Medicated up, made it through college, boys. Always oh, left-handed, man, that throws me off. 
to do it till it squirts out completely out of the top, nice and full. And really get a good get a good purchase when you're squishing, you know, long strokes. And those short rapid strokes ain't doing nothing for either one of you. They work for me every night, brother. <laughs> Cramping up my fing arm right now from fing doing biceps. Come on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Matt only works out for shit. For real. Never had any biceps, get a major cramp up in here. I ain't got nothing, I got no muscle really there, but it's all show. Just relax, don't be so tense, breathe in. It's a lot of arm to hold up. You didn't have Lindy's ice cream every night, it might not be so heavy. I didn't have any last night. Is that shit pushing through or are you just squishing it around and moving the thing around? Nah, man. Is your shit getting pushed in, man? I'll inspect your work. Look, you can look down. Still in. See this gap in here? Yes, sir. You can look in there and like look for pockets of that and give her some spins too to help work that shit in. Okay. You can see, like, it looks like it's pretty good and full. Awesome. Just a little bit. Actually, we don't need to really set up shit. This is just a mock-up because the fork legs are coming back out. We're gonna rebuild the front end and powder coat it. We're gonna do that next. We're not gonna show you that. Uh, I guess we can show you how to rebuild a cartridge front end on the Dyna. Have we done that yet? Nah, that'd be a good one. Well, we'll do a how-to cartridge rebuild because it's kind of a bitch and you need to know what you're doing. Yeah, be a good one to learn. I just torqued them with 35 foot-pounds. Kind of just squish the bushings down nice and even. And I'm going to torque them to 45 foot-pounds. I'm going to recheck both sides. Yep, that's good. Red Loctite, 45 foot-pounds, and a lock washer, and alloy art. Good and tight bushings. That is the shit. Good the front end of that thing it looks different already. 100% better bike. Oh man, so take all this shit off of this wiring. I just want bare wires coming out of those things. All right, I'm gonna set the neck bearings up right now. You wanna have the top trees, this guy loose. It's cause this needs to move up and down in the tree. If both these are tight, you can try and set the neck bearings, you're just fighting the tube. You're not setting neck bearings at all. So these are loose, these guys are tight, cause this tree is gonna move up and down and that'll pull the tube up and down in your top tree right there. So right now, I'm super, super loose. Let's get all this shit off of here. So technically the brake caliper, everything's supposed to be off of it. This is the best way to set up neck bearings, naked as fuck in the front. It's gonna be different with the, the brake caliper on it, but normally you wanna go, boom, there's some Harley spec where you go from here and you make a measurement and you bring it over and it should go that far before it falls on its own. I tend to found that the Harley spec is shit. It makes your bike real wobbly, it's too loose. I like them just a little more snug. So that's Harley right there. That's about where it would be. I'm gonna go just a little tighter. Give her a couple smacks back and forth too. Titties. I got most of the way there. I want to be like just the last quarter. So I got very, I got some fall, but not much. I like it a little more snug. That's how I like it. I think it responds a lot tighter at higher speeds, stuff like that. And in, in slow shit, like in a parking lot, it might feel a little slower, but you get used to it, use your hips more. It's kind of up to you, feel it out too, but that's how I run it. I'm soldering iron out and get it heated up. Unnecessary wire right there. Solder all these back together. Get all that shit off there. Clean them up. Make it real nice. Okay.
Now we're gonna pull some wire through. I got rid of the blinker wiring because we're not running blinkers. So I got the horn just because it's on here and it's kind of fun if you can honk the horn while you're doing wheelies and honk at people. But it's got the high below, all that shit. You push it through here. It'll come out down on this side here. It's that easy. Uh, this is machined from a solid piece of chromoly, so it's, it's got like a channel. It's all smooth, so the wire just kind of feeds its way. You kind of got to get over the notch, kind of feed it with your pinky a little bit or catch it with a hook and pull it through, but it's pretty easy. You can put a little lubrication on it, like some oil or something, and it'll slide through pretty easy every time. Uh, then we got a cap that goes on top. Where's my caps? It's got drops in here. I need some C-clip pliers. Damn, you made something with a C-clip? I did make something with a C-clip, yeah. <laughs> I still hate C-clips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f*** that C-clip. All right, you cocksucker. This is a two-hand job, I see. I guess I gotta try and do a better job. They've got a round side and a sharp cut side. Put the round side up so you can dig this thing down in there, you dirty f***ing cocksucker. Oh, there she is, locked and loaded. That bitch is tight, it's real tight. Capped, man, that's beautiful, ain't it? Those are BMX Next, BMX Next M tops right there. So this is some real BMX shit. Yo, so in closing, that's it for the day. Handlebars are on, trees are on. They are final, we gotta order a clutch cable. We'll measure that out and take care of that down the road. And we still gotta pull the wiring to the fr frame. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. But I'm going to wait and put the rear shocks on so I can get my hand in there and pull the wiring back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, we got a bunch more stuff to go. We're gonna keep putting out videos on every little install so you can see how or what it takes to install each one of our parts on a Dyna, on a Harley Davidson Dyna. And then once this bike is all said and done, it will be for sale. So if anybody's looking for something like this, she's gonna be dope. She ain't gonna be real cheap, but she ain't gonna be real expensive either. So stay posted, like, subscribe. CruiseOriginals.com for all the stuff that's on here, including the eyebrow mount, the handlebars, the levers, the everything, everything we're putting on. Stay tuned. It's gonna be dope, dude. Peace.